Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a reciprocal graph. So a reciprocal graph is a graph where we have an equation where the x is on the denominator of a fraction. So let's have a look at the example here. So we've got to draw the graph y equals 1 over x from x equals minus 1 to x equals 1. Okay, so you can see our table of values goes from minus 1 to plus 1 and it's going in up in a step size of 0 0.2 okay so let's work out our first y coordinate when x is minus 1 so to do this we just need to divide 1 by the x coordinate so we do 1 divided by minus 1 which is minus 1 then we got x is minus 0 0.8, so we do 1 divided by negative 0 0.8, which is minus 1.25. Then we've got x is minus 0 0.6, so we do 1 divided by minus 0 0.6, which is minus 1.7 to one decimal place. Then we've got x is minus 0 0.4, so we do 1 divided by minus 0 0.4, which is minus 2.5. Then we've got x is minus 0 0.2, so 1 divided by minus 0 0.2 is minus 5. And then we've got x equals 0, so we do 1 divided by 0. So on our calculator we get an error message. That's because we're dividing a number by 0. So this is where the graph goes to infinity. So moving on then, we've got x equals 0 0.2. So 1 divided by 0 0.2 is 5. Then we've got 0 0.4 which is 2.5 then we got 0 0.6 so that's uh, recurring we'd round it to 1 dp again so 1.7 1 divided by 0 0.8 that's 1.25 and our final one is 1 divided by 1 so that's just 1 Okay, so we've got all our points there, so we've just now got to plot these on our graph. So our first one was x is minus 1, gave us minus 1. When x was minus 0 0.8, we got minus 1.25. When x was minus 0 0.6, we got minus 1.7. Um, when x was minus 0 0.4, we got minus 2.5. When x was minus 0 0.2, we got minus 5. And 0 gave us infinity. So it's converging to the y-axis. Let's do our positive x coordinate. So when x is 0 0.2, we got 5. Um, x is 0 0.4, we've got 2.5. x is 0 0.6, we've got 1.7. x is 0 0.8, we've got 1.25. And 1 was 1. And then all we need to do then is do two curves. So our first curve will be like that. So it is converging to the y-axis, it won't cross the y-axis. And there's our second one. Okay, so that's what your reciprocal graph looks like. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.